Hello everyone, Ray again. Today I am making a video from the New York Maker Fair, uh, October 1st of 2016 in Queens, New York, and what an exciting trip this has been. Here we are looking at the 3D printers that are manufactured by Wasp. If you're interested in this company, I'm going to put a link to their website in the uh, description of this video, and you can find out more about their uh, 3D printers and other offerings. But uh, it was quite impressive. These little Delta printers that you see here, this particular configuration with the six arms is known as a Delta printer. It's becoming very popular in the 3D printing world for its, uh, its accuracy. And uh, the resolution, I was really impressed with the Wasp uh, printers, the 3D printers. Their resolution was one of the best. What's more interesting is the size of the printers they offer. As you can see, this one here is the, uh, the medium size. This one is the 3MT, beautiful printer, and you can see uh, the individual filaments here on this particular print. It's actually much better resolution than you can see. Uh, let's uh, go around to the opposite side of the machine and get a better look. Here you can see the, the full uh, print and the extruder nozzle. It's uh, quite impressive. I'm going to show you another printer a little bit later uh, that is much bigger, but with with uh, lower resolution. Now this might look like a like a big printer and I'm going to step back a little bit and we can get the entire uh, printer or at least get a good look at the printer uh, in the uh, field of view. This is the 3MT which is the 3 meter uh, 3D printer. They make a bigger one. In fact they make a much bigger one, a 12 meter. If you're interested in, uh, in uh, the WASP, like I said, there'll be a link in the description of this video. Now, let's take a look at the See Me CNC guys. They uh, have a very impressive offering of 3D printers. Uh, this here is uh, the, uh, the, the Rostock Max. They make smaller ones and a little bit bigger ones. Uh, the uh, 3D printer uh, that uh, you can see here, the configuration is the, the Delta uh, configuration. Uh, very popular, like I said, we saw a lot of these 3D printers with this configuration. It's becoming uh, much more common in uh, the 3D printing world. They, uh, the C, the CME CNC guys brought with them a very interesting 3D printer, which we'll see next. You can see it printing here. Now, this might seem like a large printer like uh, the Wasp ones, but it's actually uh, quite impressive. This was the largest 3D printer at the Maker Faire. Now, uh, we can see here, uh, same configuration with the, the arms, uh, the delta configuration, uh, and the, the rails. You can see here, the, uh, the vertical rails, the posts, are actually made out of 8020. 8020 is an extrusion company that has all kinds of uh, modular components that you can make for all kinds of uh, frames and supports that you may need. I'll put a link to their, uh, their website in the uh, description of this video. And here you can see as we go up, following the 8020 columns, uh, you can see the counterweights there. Uh, this printer at the show was 16 feet tall. This is a 16 foot tall printer. Quite impressive. Uh, the largest one at the show, uh, at the Maker Fair, I should say. But the resolution was nowhere near as accurate or as fine as the Wasp uh, 3D printers. Uh, they had some interesting prints about five foot tall there. Uh, very interesting. You should check out their website. I'll put a link to their website in the uh, description of this video as well. And finally, the third printer I'd like to show you is the one by Form Labs. This is a stereolithography uh, machine. So it's, a, it's an SLA, I believe it's what it's called. This is the Form 2 uh, version of this printer. And what it does, it's, uh, it uses a laser beam to solidify the resin a liquid resin. Instead of heat, it uses a laser beam to take the resin from a liquid state to a solid state. Whereas the other printers we saw take solid material, melt it, and then allow it to cool. So you can see here with the lasers, it's quite impressive uh, to actually see it functioning. And I, I was uh, blown away. This particular unit here is about a $3,500 unit, but still, when you consider the level of technology, 
uh, quite an impressive piece of, of technology that fits on your desktop. So please do check out their website. It'll be a link in the description of this video. Thank you all for watching. Please, while you're here, don't forget to like the video, uh, leave a comment, share, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again.